Okay, now in this video, what we're going to be looking at is a quadratic inequality where the number in front of the x squared, the coefficient of x squared, is negative. Okay, so in this example, we have a coefficient of minus 1. 81 minus x squared is greater than 0. Now, there are two possible routes that you can go down in solving an inequality like this. Okay, one is to um, keep the minus x squared as is, okay, perfectly reasonable to do that, or you can multiply through by a negative number, in which case you get rid of the uh, negative in front of the x squared, you change the sign of the x squared, but you all will also change the inequality symbol. Both solutions and both methods will work perfectly fine, okay? So, the first way is to maintain the negative for the x squared. And then say, right, okay, well, I've chosen one here that easily factorises using the difference of two squares. So, we're going to have 9 minus x and 9 plus x is greater than 0. Okay, so the two solutions for this are this equation would be 9 and minus 9. Now, in drawing this, it's a negative x squared, so we're now dealing with a problem that looks like that rather than the other way up. It has two solutions one at minus 9 and one at 9, okay, coming from those two brackets. And we're being asked where is the parabola above y equals 0, and it is above the y line y equals 0 between minus 9 and 9. So it is above it there. So we can write it as one uh, inequality because it's just one region. Okay? And that is how you can just deal with the inequality. The only difference here from the other videos is that we're dealing with um, the parabola being the other way up. So you've got to look at it slightly differently. Your other method, which you might find more preferable, is by multiplying through by minus 1, and you can rewrite this as now positive x squared, negative 81, is now less than 0. Okay? Now this inequality... Uh, on the left-hand side, factorises using the difference of two squares as x minus 9 and x plus 9. So it has two, two solutions, minus 9 and 9, as the other one did. But in this case, the parabola is now upside down, okay? The way around that we're used to working with. Now this crosses the x-axis at minus 9 and 9. And we're asking where is the parabola below y equals 0, and it's below y equals 0 between minus 9 and 9. So one region, one inequality. And you can see that these two inequalities are exactly the same. You, you get the same solution, okay? So whichever way round you want to do it, it doesn't matter what your starting inequality is, uh, if we'd had minus 3x squared with lots of other things, so if you'd had something like um, uh, 4 plus 2x minus 5x squared is less than 0, then if you multiply through by minus 1, you can rewrite that as 5x squared minus 2x minus 4 is greater than 0, okay? And solve that inequality instead using quadratic formula, factorising, whatever, okay? And this will work for any uh, quadratic inequality you meet, okay? So, whichever way round you want to do it, that's, it's up to you, okay? Both ways will get you to the same answer. 